Hey everyone, this is Alex USA Day. So today we're uh, doing JavaScript for testers. So last video, we're gonna get introduction into a test framework and we'll create some tests. Now, this is module 12, so we're all done. After this module, I'm probably gonna go and work on a new uh, course, something with automation. So either Playwright or Cypress, we'll see. But yeah, this is it for now. Going through this JavaScript course should prepare you uh, to be able to write automation with me for the next course. Or just in general, if you want to get into Playwright or Cypress or other any JavaScript based automation, you should be able to do that. Okay, so let's talk about testing frameworks. Tests and frameworks in JavaScript are essential for ensuring that code behaves as expected, automating the process of validating functionality and improving software quality through early detection of errors and bugs. Here's a list of popular JavaScript testing frameworks and libraries, each with its specific code focus ranging from unit testing to end-to-end -to -end testing. Uh, so one of the first is Jest. So Jest was developed by Facebook. Jest is widely used for its simplicity and speed, particularly in React and other modern web application projects. It comes with out-of-the-box support for JavaScript and TypeScript, mocking and integrated test runner. Its snapshot testing feature is especially useful for catching changes in UI components. So I've seen Jest being used by developers while they are working on the web applications. So it's kind of helping them to create the test for their app. Then there's Mocha. So uh, Mocha is one of the most flexible testing frameworks. Uh, Mocha allows for detailed configuration, making it suitable for both unit and integration testing. It works well with assertion libraries like Chai, enabling developers to write tests in a style that uh, best suits their needs. So we will be using uh, Mocha with Chai today. So they come together. Uh, and actually a lot of automation tools also use Mocha and Chai for the assertion library uh, as part of their automation process. So Mocha and Chai are very popular in JavaScript. Uh, even if you're gonna go in Playwright, if you're gonna go in Cypress, there's still gonna be a lot of things that are very similar to Mocha Chai. Uh, so Chai is an assertion library rather than a testing framework. Chai is often mentioned alongside frameworks like Mocha for its powerful and expressive syntax that allows developers to write more readable and descriptive tests. Next one is Jasmine. Uh, it is known for its behavioral driven development syntax. Jasmine is a self contained framework that includes assertion functions, mocking, and spice without the need for additional plugins or libraries. Uh, it's uh, favored for testing everything from JavaScript application to Node.js services. Uh, next one is, I think, one of the most popular right now on automation market uh, using JavaScript uh, for the web, uh, and that is Cypress. So Cypress is a really great tool uh, to learn to get into automation. It's a modern end-to-end -end testing framework designed for the web. Cypress makes testing application easier by running tests in a real browser, providing developers with immediate visual feedback and powerful debugging tools. It's particularly useful for testing the full user experience of web applications. Uh, the next one is Puppeteer. Puppeteer is also very popular, but I don't see Puppeteer much uh, in context of web automation for quality assurance, uh, more for development. So Puppeteer developed by Google, Puppeteer is a node library that provides a high-level API control, Chrome or Chromium, over the DevTools protocol. It's primarily used for end-to-end -end testing, automating browser tasks, and generating pre-rendered content for single-page applications. And the last one is Playwright. Now, in my opinion, Playwright right now is the most powerful tool for web automation. It's gaining popularity rapidly, and I think very soon it's going to overshadow uh, other JavaScript frameworks uh, in the domain of web automation and testing the web uh, applications, and it's going to overshadow Selenium. So in my opinion, Playwright is the future for the next couple of years. It's going to be a very strong and very popular framework. So Playwright is similar to Puppeteer. Playwright is a node library for browser automation. It supports multiple browsers, Chrome, Firefox, Safari, and provides features for web application testing across browser contexts, making it a versatile choice for cross-browser testing. So again, I'm planning to create two more courses for automation, one with Cypress and one with Playwright. And this course, uh, was introduction to JavaScript for testers is a really good prerequisite for those two. All right, so now uh, let's get into the code. 
Okay, so here we are. Um, let's start our installation. So first thing we need to install Mocha and Chai and add them into our package JSON and create a node folder, which will be automatically created uh, for us once we install them uh, with all the content for those libraries, right? So first thing we wanna do npm install dash dash save uh, dash dev and uh, provide name of the framework. So Mocha Chai, let's run it. So it should install two of the frameworks here. You see the installation process started. Uh, they are added as dev dependencies because of the option that we provided here, save to dev. So here are both of them. And we can see that nod modules uh, folder was added, right? So we have all, all of the things that needed to run those libraries within the nod module folder. Right. This is our essentially this is our package manager. NPM is uh, doing a thing to make our life easier. So it is added in the package JSON config and the node module folder added was everything that is required to run Mocha uh, to do assertion with Chai. And you can see the folders here and all other packages that needed to do that. OK, so um, what is next? So let's uh, create. We had a calculator function. Uh, in the previous video, let's create a new calculator. We're going to use exactly the same functions, but it's going to be an object. And then we're going to export that object and then use that object for testing. So I'm going to create new file and let's do 12.calc underscore object.js. Okay, so we have an object here. Let's do let calculator and equal here open curly braces so with it within this object i need to put all of those functions right so i'm going to put them here now um, the way how we're going to have it was in the object we have to update a couple things here so first of all we will have name of the function first so add and then con so here uh, let's remove the name the other name of the function so it's returning a and b and then we're separating functions by a comma so comma same thing with a subtract so some subtract colon it's going to be a function and it accepts a and b we remove the arrow function here so now it's a regular function and then again separate by a comma same thing with multiply so a function name uh, it's going to be a function, delete our equals, delete our uh, arrow function, and add curly braces. Within curly braces, we're returning return A multiplied by B. And the last one is divide. So we're going to update that one as well. So divide, colon, function accepts a and b if b is equal to zero return not equal to zero return a divided by b else return can it divide by zero okay perfect so this is our object uh, now we can't work with it until we export it so be so it becomes available we can use it in other places so i can say in order to export this i need to do module uh, module dot export exports and then let's do equal calculator so this object right here uh, this calculator object is now being exported now i can import it in other places other files other folders so i'm going to create new folder called uh, test and then within the test folder we're going to have our tests that are be will be running against this and now in our test folder we're going to have a test file that will be importing the calculator and we will be doing tests uh, around it all around the calculator functionality in that folder uh, in the file so let's create a file and test folder call it uh, calculator test.js okay uh, and what are we doing first so first we need to import a couple things here uh, we need to import uh, expect from chai uh, so again this is our assertion library this is the function that we will be 
uh, asserting with. So kind of like our verification method, expect. So we're importing that, and we also need to import uh, calculator, right? Calculator, and well, JavaScript is really smart here, and it found the exported object in the higher directory. So two dots, it went up from the test into the root folder, and then grabbed this file was an object so this file that we just created okay so I imported both things that I needed that's great so let's start working in our tests here the tests are going to be into two blocks there is a higher level block which is a describe block it will have the name of all of your like a all of your tests combined together like what are we doing here so describe block is like a you know kind of a test plan name and then within the describe block you'll have smaller test blocks that are called it and then you provide a test name for a specific test within that it block so let me show you how it looks let's start with the describe block so describe and you want to open uh, parentheses within the parentheses everything else is going to happen right so first we need to provide the name for the describe block what this uh, describe block is doing and we will say uh, verification of calculator functionality okay so this is the name of the whole thing uh, of the describe block and the test was in it will be under that describe block right then we do a comma and then we need to write function this function does not accept anything we just have it as is so parentheses are empty and then another curly and then curly braces uh where we'll have the the whole code running so the, all other tests will be within those curly braces right so then we will start with actual tests one by one so we start with it and uh, very similar so we have a parentheses open within the parentheses here we provide the name for the test that will be running so let's uh so verify add uh two numbers right functionality so that's all going to be our first verification that's the name of it and then we say uh, function empty parentheses and then uh, curly braces and within this curly braces that belong to this eight block we actually have our test so i'm going to say expect and what are we expecting so let's call our calculator dot add and let's provide two numbers here so let's provide five and two right so remember how we were doing in this lesson uh, addition so add 10 plus 5 so we're actually doing the same thing but we are also going to be doing assertion on top of it uh, so let's get back to our test let's say also 10 and 5 here so we're going to do add 10 plus 5 but now we're not printing it to the console uh, we're running a test around it so here is the calculator add being executed and we also need to say what are we expecting uh, we can say 2 and then equal uh, to equal 15 so this calculator function from the calculator object gonna run it's gonna add 2 plus uh, 10 plus 5 together we're gonna expect 15 as a result of it so this is first eat block first test was in this describe block now we can add one more so I can just copy and paste this right I'm gonna grab the it copy paste it and now let's say verify uh, subtract right I can just rename it verify subtract uh, two numbers for so let's let's just say verify subtract functionality now instead of add we do in subtract right and let's do seven and five so seven minus five is two so we verify that result of this calculation will be equal to uh, two all right so and then when continuing so again next one is multiplication so verify multiply multiply functionality uh, we expect calculator 
multiply and we let's do 2 multiplied by 2 should be equal by 4 that's the uh, next test and then the last test is divide so verify divide divide functionality and then calculator divide uh, 3 divided by 3 should be equal to 1 we can also verify uh, dividing by null so remember we have this little else that if we provide a zero instead of the b if b is equal to zero we're going to error out uh, show this message so let's verify that as well so verify divide uh, by zero functionality so function divide three uh, by zero and then as an outcome we should uh, expect a message right the message is that we're expecting cannot divide by zero equal to cannot divide by zero that will be expected to be returned we're done with the calculator what we need to do we need to go to our package json and let's add a script here so we have a script test uh, that uh, is not configured so if i'll do right now uh, npm test uh, it's gonna get us this message error no test specified so it's coming from here so we need to specify a framework for the test script we're going to say mocha uh, it knows where mocha is mocha knows that there is a expected test folder and then calculator.test.js it will be able to grab this file so mocha is smart enough to find a test folder and find the file with .test.js extension uh, so let me clear out the console. Let's go to the package JSON. And here we're going to just say npm test. So now instead of the error, we're going to actually do a Mocha framework. So let's run it. All right. So we got a couple errors here. Um, so there's an error saying that it can't find the module 12.call the underscore object um, dot js i think even though it was smart enough to import it maybe uh, i think it needs dot js extension still so it found it it imported the pass but it didn't add the extension so let's see if adding the extension fixes it pm test uh we're still airing out so it says that calculator object js does not provide an export name default. Uh, so I think we need to update how we export the module here. So not module exports equal to calculator. Uh, the correct way to be uh, to export this would be export uh, default calculator. So now that should work. Let's go back to our calculator. So we by default we're exporting everything in that object. Uh, and the object to calculate as a whole thing. Let's run it now. And here we are. So all our tests passed. We executed verify that add number to functionality, verify substructure function. So all of the testing passing, but let's say I want to update an expected outcome. So 10 plus five, and I'm gonna say it should be equal to 10, not 15, right? And let's rerun it and it gives me an error so assertion expected 15 to equal to 10 so it got the actual value coming back but uh, it expected 10 so 10 is not equal to 15 and the test failed so now we see four passing and one failing okay all right let's clear out the console so run one more time all of the tests passing and here we go so this is it. Uh, this is end of our journey, introduction to JavaScript with some exposure to the testing. Now, what we did right now with Mocha Chai is, is very similar to what you will be doing with Playwright and Cypress in terms of verification. So you'll be just getting some values back, some uh, functionality that it expects to provide certain values, and you will be verifying them. Uh, that will be in API or in the web. So we're gonna cover both, uh, but this is it for this module. Hopefully you liked it. Thank you very much for watching. This was Alex USA Days and bye-bye. Uh,